You know how you get to the end of the day and it feels like you've only done half of your shot list? We're gonna fix this. Today's episode is all about knives. Knives and making your workflow extremely efficient. Hi everyone, this is Udi from DIYphotography.net. If you're operating in a one-man band or in a small crew, running a tight ship on set will have a dramatic effect on your ability to deliver. And a few tricks can go a long way in terms of doing more with less. My old boss used to say, anyone can do a lot with a ton of resources. The magic comes when you could do a lot with a little. So let's jump right into it. Today we're shooting at a local blacksmith who makes incredible Damascus steel knives. If you've never seen Damascus steel knives before, they're forged from several different layers of steel to produce some amazing and intricate patterns. Our first trip is about arriving on location. Even as a small crew, you may still need to bring a sizable kit to the shoot. For us, it's a slider, a few tripods, some lights, a gimbal, and other accessories. Even if you can park close to the shooting location, a small camping cart can save quite a few trips to the car. A car costs around $100 on Amazon and will pay for itself in your first shoot. This brings us to our second tip. Unload and verify your gear before you start shooting. Ideally, you will have already charged all your batteries and double-checked your gear when you loaded your car. This is the time to make sure you unload everything you will need for the shoot. A good way is to have everything in dedicated cases so there are no free items that you can forget. So even the small batteries, memory cards and cable have a dedicated place. As your workflow evolves, you will find the most convenient and efficient ways to pack. But for now, let's just say that no piece of gear should be a free agent. Everything must have a place. Once you're on location, start going through your shot list. Depending on your talent's availability and the type of video you're shooting, you may want to group the shots by timing, location, or setup needed. For us, many of the shots are either handheld, sliding shots, or simple stationary shots on a tripod. We're using the Manfrotto Move Quick Release to quickly move between those setups without the need to use extra hands. We want to capture the work and effort of the blacksmith with various angles, focal lengths, and movement to gain as much coverage as we can. So it's super useful that we can swap from one support to another. That said, you might see a bunch of cool stuff while shooting, but don't get distracted. Then, when you think you've shot your entire list, double check it and just make sure that you have everything you need. And then, go and shoot all the other cool stuff. If you get distracted by the cool stuff before you've done your shot list, you might find yourself short in the edit. Once you're done shooting, it's time to tear down and pack your gear away. Remember that we talked about having a dedicated place for every piece of gear? This is where having a good workflow comes in really handy and helps you make sure you forgot no gear behind. One last tip before we depart. Make sure to put your cables away nice and tidy. Use the over-under method when you wrap. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Also consider getting some of those cable Velcros or hook and loop straps. They are priceless when it comes to protecting your precious cables. I'm gonna put a link for those in the description as well. This is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you got some tools to put in your creative box. Now hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe, just hit all the buttons on the screen. This is Udi Tiroz from DIYphotography.net and I'll be seeing you in the next video.